Joining us now from Moscow is U.S. Ambassador to Russia, John Byerly. Mr. Ambassador, good morning. Good morning. Can you give us any late word on Justin or RTM's health, his welfare, who's taking care of him? Uh, Justin Artyom right now is in uh, one of the children's hospitals uh, in Moscow. Uh, we're in touch with the Russian authorities at the hospital, also the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So we know he's being very well cared for right now. He's in very good hands. Mm. And we expect probably to go in to see him a bit later today or tomorrow. All right. R Russians are outraged by this. A Russian friend of ours uh, told us, People in Russia would not so much as let a little kitten out alone on a street uh, so much as have put a young boy on an airplane and be sent back into, uh, back into the country the way this young child has been treated. Are you feeling that same sort of outrage? Uh, definitely. There's uh, been quite a lot of commentary on this in the Russian press. Uh, I have uh, read uh, a lot of Russian blogs. But, I mean, I have to say that it mirrors what uh, I've been hearing from uh, the United States as well. A lot of people in the United States share that sense of bewilderment that uh, a parent would do this. Mm. There are about 1,600 adoptions from uh, Russia that go to the United States every year. Many of these are in flux now. Many would-be parents are, are very much on the fence wondering what's going to happen in the future. Are you confident that the Russians will in the end say, yes, we want to continue allowing Americans to adopt kids from, the, from, the US, uh, from Russia? Yes, I think so, Harry. We've uh, made very clear to the Russian side that we're willing to talk with them about some sort of a bilateral understanding where we'd assure that these sorts of things really can't happen, that we'd uh, look more closely at the placement, the follow-up, uh, where the children come from in Russia. And uh, our proposal to send a team out here to Moscow has been accepted now by the Russian government in principle and we're working out the dates probably next week when we'll start more formal discussions leading to that kind of agreement. Ambassador John Byerly, we do appreciate your time this morning. Uh, we do uh, thank you very much and uh, wish you good luck. Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.